so I'm here with Kim Robertson from Swap Kids Clothes. Tell us about the business. What, what is Swap Kids Clothes? Swap Kids Clothes is an online service for those uh, busy, money savvy mums out there um, who want to basically take the hassle and cost out of dressing their kids. So basically, they send in all their unwanted, well, they join, they send in all their unwanted kids' clothes, we process them, make them available to other members, and give them swap points in return. Um, then they use those swap points as and when they need to to buy online from our stock. So with you know expenses rising all the time, numbers of kids rising all the time, particularly in my household. Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, it Common. just it just makes sense, I guess, not to be tied down to shopping for new retail clothes all the time and. The stuff's all in good exactly. nick and... Absolutely, and that's what I find, I'm sure, you know, and it's quite common, lots of mums say the same thing. You know, they're sure that they're those well-worn pieces, you know, but there are so many items that are hardly ever worn, and the alternatives, you know, are just, you know, not that appealing. Certainly for me, um, I didn't have time to photograph items and put them up on eBay, or sorry, I should say auction sites. Um, you know, or go to baby markets, you know, the time it takes to get prepared for the markets, the markets are expensive mm. to have a store, and you take a whole day out of your weekend um, that you could be spending with your family. So, and I myself can't afford to go and buy new clothes every, you know, every twice, three times a year. Mm. You know, and the hassle of taking the kids with me <laughs> as well is just beyond me. So, yeah, it's so how I can, we started that. I can relate business. to that as well. So, and the thing about them being pre-loved if they're still in good nick now mm -hmm. it shows that they're, they're good quality whereas things you buy cheap in in big department stores say yeah, exactly. can't guarantee that kind of longevity or, or, or quality can you no that's right and you know the, i'm always amazed at the pieces that we get in from our members we've all got great taste and the condition of the clothes are amazing you know that we do get the odd you know, item in that we, you know, have to um, either give to charity or whatever we need to do with them because we just need to make sure that the quality control is, is A1 so our members can feel really confident that what they receive is, you know, beautiful pieces of clothing, very gently worn, so. And so how long have you been doing this? What's what's the story? Um, we've been, uh, we've had the site live for a year now. Um, we have really just been our Facebook page has been live for around the same time um, our members that have joined have been really active and are loving the service we've got our testimonials up on the website um, but they're just amazed at the, at the quality of the items that they receive mm. um, and also the fact that they can trust that we will do our best with the online order form when they they say they want five shirts five skirts whatever it might be they put their preferences in at the bottom of the form and we do our very best to, to meet those. So expectations are being met and the mums are really happy. So I think it's probably peace of mind for mums to know that mums are doing the quality control at this end too. So they're not going to just get a bag of rubbish back. Exactly. And um, I did give my husband a, a trial go at doing the processing. <laughs> Let's just say... He didn't understand the difference between skirts and shorts, I'm sure, or, um, yeah, he would have been quite happy, you know, that's fine, it's got a bit of a mark on it, that's no, no, it's not all right. You know, mums have to make sure that they're, uh, they're good with um, what they receive, and so therefore my husband is, has been banned from the processing room. Yes, probably, probably best. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what are the barriers, what did people say to you, you said people were surprised with the, with the the process and mm. whatever what do what are the frequently asked things that would stop people using your service like what are the what are the roadblocks for you we find that um you know and i, I must admit i had the same uh challenge initially i thought the postage was going to be really expensive um, but i did a lot of research on that and testing etc and it's just amazing how cheap australia post is um, for what you get and we had a member last week send 82 items to us from Melbourne to our warehouse in Brisbane um, the majority of the maybe 40% of them were sizes 2 to 5 so big items right uh, and it cost $25.40 to send it was the biggest bag you've ever seen <laughs> um, so you know postage is cheap 
you mm. know, and which is a really good thing. Mm. Um, and also, when members join, they receive a free complimentary welcome pack, which includes five or six different ranges of sizes of bags, um, you know, almost purpose designed, if you like. They're, they're airtight, you know, the water can't get in, they can't get damaged. So um, they're off and running. They just basically need to throw in, wash their um, unwanted clothes, fold them, put them in the bag. We've got the addresses seals envelopes on the um, in the welcome pack and they can just send it off we process it make it available to other members they Love, then use those that. points when they need to yeah mm. and points don't expire that's what points don't expire as long as your membership remains current okay so is there is there something you get a lot of or conversely is there something you need more than others you know is there a lot more singlets than there are dresses than there yeah, are yeah that's socks? a good one Good question. You know, I think that the idea of this service is that you have your first child, right? The idea is you don't want clutter in your house. You, you don't need these items sitting around doing nothing in your house. So when you, you have your first child, you send in, you join, you send in those clothes as they grow, mm. right? Then when you get your second child comes along, uh, that's when you start using those points to draw down or to get your eldest child into the next size and season. So you can trade back and trade forward, trade sex, you know, it doesn't, mm. it doesn't matter. And what we find is, um, you know, mums need to join a bit earlier to get that full life cycle of value. So we find that we have a lot of baby stuff up to size zero and then the older the, the size gets the less mm. items um, we have. So we really encourage those mums to send in their two, three, fours and fives um, and then trade back for the those smaller items because we've got tons of gorgeous items. Okay, so as a as a mum mm -hmm. and as a small business owner in Australia, what's mm -hmm. your biggest challenge day to day running your business? You know, I think it's uh, as much as you would uh, like to have a, a timetable and a schedule and, you know, um, with kids they tend to almost rehearse that and <laughs> look at how they can sabotage it. Um, that would be one of the, the main things is that flexibility. You have to be flexible and, you know, there are nights when you're working away and, mm. you, know, you know, half your Sunday or whatever it might, might be. Um, but I guess on the, the other hand, the benefit is that I do have that flexibility, you know, which I, which I love and I'm passionate about you know, I really believe that this service makes mums' lives easier and also saves money. I mean, mm. it, the cost of living is so high today. You know, we just, sure, the, this uh, this service isn't about, um, you know, those special pieces, you know, to take your children to a wedding or whatever. This is about everyday living, making it less expensive and easier to manage. So I, I love that part of my business and it's what keeps me going if I have to be on at 10 o'clock at night. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>